good morning guys welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you round poundland now i am just going to do the beauty section and also i'm going to do the garden section now i'm not a gardener but a lot of people have asked me to show you around the garden section so before we get into this video i just want to say if you are new here then a very warm welcome to you my name is charlie and i create content on lifestyle shopping hauls home decorating and I do like to shot in a dupes video every now and again. I would love for you to come on over and join my YouTube family. I tend to bring a lot of come shop with me at Poundland and I tend to bring a lot of Poundland hauls as well. Now I do upload twice weekly on a Thursday at 10 o'clock and a Sunday at 8 o'clock. So make sure if you do subscribe you hit that notification bell. So let me show you the selection of shampoos and conditioners and hair serums body washes that poundland did have to offer now these l'oreal lv were two pound 25 but they're very much similar to home bargains prices they did also have the bed head in which was seven pounds and i think that is the cheapest that i've seen the bed head shampoos poundland had quite a lot of big brand names in so we have the aussie which is a great shampoo but unfortunately it doesn't agree with my hair it makes my hair feel very very greasy but it is priced at £3 in Poundland so again it's very much the same as anywhere else. I absolutely love the Touch of Silver and Touch of Purple shampoos. I do use these quite a lot. These are only little bottles and they were £2.50. Now this is new, I don't think I've seen this before but it is Frizz No More and we had a curling spray, we had a blow dry cream and they were £1.50. Moving on to the hair accessories, so they did have some snap clips in for a pound. Now I did only see them in the silver, and um, I know you can get them in a gold. We had a pack of combs, they were only a pound as well. I always tend to lose combs in my house and I'm not sure why. As we move down, we've got some hair brushes and more clips, but these brushes were £2 and they did feel like a really sturdy quality. Then we had some sectioning clips, they were a pound as well, so if you're doing any tape hair extensions, you know, them sectioning clips are really good. Hair grips, we can never fall wrong with hair grips. And then we did have this hairdressing kit, so if you're wanting to just give your hair a little bit of a chop, then a pound in Poundland. This Poundland also had a large selection of false nails. I used to always go to the salon for some acrylics, but since i've discovered poundland nails i now do my own these are poundland nails that i've got on at the moment and they were one pound fifty so all i've done is i've stuck them on and i've cut them down and shaped them to the size that i wanted so i do buy the coffin nails and i just cut them down these nails do actually last me at least two weeks but this poundland had a large variety of nails and so many different colors now I am a beige person and I do just like a beige nail but they did some pinks and greens. Now these are the ones that I've actually got on my nails in this video and like what I said they were £1.50. I just cut them down and just filed them to the length that I wanted. They also done a large selection of false eyelashes. Now I'm not a big lover of false eyelashes but if you are then Poundland do false eyelashes for £2. We did have some for £1.50 and I noticed they've done the individual lashes as well. I just cannot get away with eyelashes. We also had some Just Right beauty products so we had some face masks and then Demi Jones has just brought out a new range from Poundland so we've got some hydration face masks, we've got some body oil for £2. Now Demi Jones range does range from £1 to £3 I believe. She also has brought out some finishing mist and then we've got some shimmering body mist as well. Now in the summer if you've got a tan, this would just put a little bit of glitter onto your skin and they were £1.50. I noticed then we had a detox mud mask and again these are absolutely brilliant for skincare so they are only at £1. Now I am going to pick up some of these items because I am going to be doing a little hamper for the cancer ward at my local hospital as that is very close to my heart since losing mum and then as we move down we have got some Nivea Care and Relax for £3. I absolutely love nothing better than a bubble bath. 
and this is one of my favourite products to put in my bath. Good old Radox, £1.50. I do actually like the Muscle Soak, I love the Relaxed. But then further down we did have the Imperial Leather. Now this one is £2 and this is the Indulgent range. So as much as I love White Company products and Neon Bath Oil, I do always have some Radox in my cupboard. Now this is a new Radox, this is a new scent, strawberry and raspberry. I absolutely love the colour of that shower gel and the scent sounds absolutely amazing. We did have some larger bottles of the Radox, so they were £2.25. But again, Radox is one of my favourite products, I will always go back to Radox. We did have some Carex for £1.25 and the smaller bottles were £1. Now I do tend to buy a lot of these because I like to do hampers and birthday gifts and them ones are just absolutely perfect to fill out a hamper. As we move up we have got some body loofers, now these are only £1.50. Now these have changed slightly, they feel such better quality, they had them in the pink and the white. And then as we move down we've got all of our hand washes which reminds me I do need to pick up a new hand wash. For the gents, if any gents are watching, we do have some skincare for the gents in the Nivea and they're ranging from £3 to £3.50. So we had the face wash, we had the balm and then for £4 we had the L'Oreal Men Expert. So this is the face wash and then for £5 they also had the L'Oreal Men Expert moisturiser. So if you are making a hamper up for a gent then Poundland do have some really nice bits in. They did also have a nose and ear trimmer and that was £4 and then we've got some shaving forms and some shaving gel so again Nivea, they had Gillette, some of them were ranging from £2.50 right down to a pound. We have a men's manicure set and we also have a large selection of razors as well. Now I do tend to use male razors because they're so much better than the female razors. I also noticed that they were doing the large bottles of the Lynx and they were £3. They did also have the deodorant in them but they are absolutely huge them bottles. And then moving over to the ladies skincare we did have some eye filler, some eye roll-ons with vitamin C, hyaluronic acid and retinol and they also did have the night creams and the day creams. Now they were ranging from £2.50 to £3. And then we do have some Nivea products, like what I said, I do absolutely love Nivea, I swear by Nivea. But they did have some anti-wrinkle cream and they were £5. Let me know in the comments down below what creams do you use because you may use one that I don't use and I'd love to try a new one. Now we did have the blemish stick from Witch which was £3. We did also have the blackhead cleaning scrub and the cleanser. They do have the toner in, so they've got quite a large selection from which. And then they've got the L'Oreal Paris. So all of these different creams and clear masks and things like that. So the creams were £5 and the toners and things like that were £2.50. Now I've not tried any of these products so I can't give you a review on them. But they've got such a selection. They've got the eye creams, the day creams, the night creams, the anti-wrinkle creams and these ones look absolutely beautiful. Moving down we've got some Ole creams so we've got the anti-wrinkle, the complete and these were £6 so a little bit more expensive than the Nivea and the L'Oreal but again some amazing products in Poundland. I absolutely love the Land of Nod, that shower gel is absolutely amazing. They are all infused with lavender which helps you have a good night's sleep. We had the clean and clear products, so if you've got any breakouts or you've got a teenager that's got any breakouts, then Poundland do have a solution for that. We had some Garnier body butters and intense seven days. We've got the tonics, so these were ranging from £3 to £6. And then underneath we do have the Poundland products that we see in Poundland quite a lot. So this is obviously a dupe of maybe L'Oreal. And then we've got some peel off masks down there for £1 as well.
lots of different skincare in Poundland. We had these face masks. Now I absolutely love a face mask. Nothing better than on a Sunday having a nice bath, getting into your comfy pyjamas and having a nice face mask. That sounds to me like the perfect Sunday. We have got some more L'Oreal and Garnier products. For £2 they had this L'Oreal gel cream wash. Now I've not tried this before but it does look really good and we do also have the micellar waters and things like that and the micellar water is £3 but this rose soothing milk was £2.25. So again you've got some really nice branded items in Poundland. They also did stock the L'Oreal cleansing wipes which were £2.50 but I honestly swear by the Poundland ones which are £65 and if I'm not mistaken I do think they are two for a pound. I then also noticed for £1 they done these tea tree cleansing pads. Now I use the Elemis ones but a little tip for you guys if you are going to use that put them in the fridge. Everyone's seen this on Poundland socials and I've also brought it to my channel but they have still got the Brazilian Bliss body butter and the body scrub they are £2.50 and then they've also got the body mist for £2. Now that is a dupe to the Sol de Janeiro bum bum creams and the sprays. Again Jess Wright has got some beautiful nails in Poundland for £1.50 and these are more of the square nails. However, I do like to cut the coffin nails down, but Jess Wright do have the squared off nails. Now in Poundland, you can get some really nice branded makeup and they are priced at £1.50. And this is all makeup that has been discontinued so make sure you do have a little look at that makeup as well. They do also do the makeup gallery which is their own makeup range which I have tried and I do use and I have brought that to my channel um, but they do branded makeup as well so make sure if you're looking for any type of branded makeup and you don't want to pay the prices then have a look in Poundland because they do the discounted ones. Now we've got some makeup brushes, some eyelash curlers, some cleansing pads and again these all range from £1 to £1.50. Now I use a beauty blender to apply my makeup and I don't use a lot of brushes. For my brushes I just use my bronzer and my blush but you can get some beautiful brushes in Poundland. They had little manicure sets for £1.50 and these are the makeup brushes that they do. Now it's hashtag six, which I think is dupe in number seven. I always have said that, but they are £1.50 each. Now they did some perfumes in this Poundland. Now I'm not sure what these are dupe in, but I'm thinking that one's going to be a Baccarat Rouge. It looks very similar to that. And this one here is absolutely gorgeous. I have tried it and they are £4 each. Now recently Poundland did a dupe of Good Girl which smelled absolutely amazing. I do tend to buy pieces like this for work. I don't like to wear my expensive perfume for work. So I just nip to Poundland and pick up some dupes and for £4 you really can't go wrong. Okay so this is the department where I am going to struggle because I do not know the difference between a flower or a weed so I do know that these are plant pots and they are four pound they are really really nice and they've got some little ones here with some gold on the bottom they're two pound fifty this one was eight pound now I have shown that on my channel before these are really nice as well so if you've just got some little small plants that you just want to pop outside in a pot for four pound they've done the cream the white and the grey 
these ones have been out before and I always buy some of them at autumn because I do like to do some autumnal displays but they were only one pound each this one was absolutely beautiful I don't have any plants to put in these now I have picked this up and I will show you a haul of everything that I've picked up but I've changed my kitchen and I needed somewhere to put my utensils so for £1.50 I did pick up that little plant pot so I'm just going to show you the selection of plant pots that they've got in like I said I will struggle with this department because I'm not very green fingered but as I do show you around I just want to say if you have yet to subscribe to my channel then please consider doing so it would help my channel to grow and it helps my content go a little bit further also I do have Instagram, TikTok and Facebook for this channel and the handle is all that new trolls now I am quite active on all three platforms so if you use any of them platforms then please go and add me up or send me a direct message let me know where you're watching from let me know if you're enjoying my channel what type of content you do enjoy watching but we have gone to the light section now I absolutely loved these little lanterns I had a little bit of jute on them and they were five pound each and I just thought on a table outside on a night time they would look absolutely gorgeous they've got some bulb lights for seven pound and then we've also got some solar lights that you stick in the ground they are two pound fifty I did like them little antique bulbs now I don't get a lot of sun in my garden so solar is out of the window but we've got some more little lanterns down there and again if you just wanted to put a candle in there while you're sat out having a barbecue or if you've got the fire pit on I absolutely love sitting out in the summer with the fire pit and just having a nice glass of wine but they did have a selection of micro lights and these were £5 and then we've got the curtain lights again £5 now I do believe these are all solid so again these would be no good for my garden whatsoever but if you are looking for some lights for your garden then please look in Poundland first before you go anywhere else because they do have some really beautiful lights in As we moved down, I really liked these mirrors. They were priced at £10. They had a beige, a black and a white. But if you're wanting to do a little garden makeover, then Poundland have some beautiful items in. I'm going to actually do a little garden makeover. Now, I don't have a large garden, but I do have a little patio area. So I am going to give that a little bit of a refresh and a little bit of a makeover so that when the warmer weather comes i can sit out there after work and read a book or just have a flick through all of my social medias now they did have some barbecue equipment so if you're wanting to do a barbecue or you're going to host then they did have some really nice pieces in so i'd noticed they had some cocktail skewers they had some cleaning items for your barbecue and they also had them aluminium trays now this elbow grease a barbecue rack and grill cleaner set was only two pound now i couldn't think of anything worse than cleaning a barbecue cleaning my cooker is bad enough but again they did have some charcoal bits now these are absolutely beautiful every time i come into poundland i pick up a gold watering can and i always put it back because i've got nowhere for it but they were five pound if you're going away and you're doing a picnic then we've got some ice blocks for £2.50 you just fill them up you pop them in the freezer and then you pop them in your picnic to keep everything nice and cool we've got some decorations there for a pound and if my mum was still alive she would have a few of these in her garden her garden was her little sanctuary but for £3 I didn't think they were too bad I might actually go back and pick one up and put one in my garden just as a little remembrance to my mum so I have mentioned on my channel before that I do love jute and if I'm doing any sort of DIY then I always incorporate jute this is where I get my jute from it is one pound for a huge reel and I like to have it in my craft cupboard because you never know when you need 
some jute. We had some gardening gloves which ranged from £1 up to £2. Then we had some spider killers and slug killers and things like that. Mosquito and fly killers. Now in my previous property we used to suffer with flying ants. In the summertime we were inundated with them and I used to have a lot of fly paper hanging around. I used to go around my home with some ant powder and I did used to get that product from Poundland. So they had loads of different things so you can see we've got bug killers, we've got weed killers, we also had some lawn sprays they were £1.50 so if your lawn is in a little bit of need of TLC then Poundland do have little bits for that they do also have some grass seeds as well now I don't have any grass so I'm quite lucky They also had some multi-purpose feed, some household plant feed, rose feed, you name it, they had it and they were £2 each. Now again, I'm lost here, I haven't got a clue what any of this stuff is. Okay, so this is plant food, so I suppose you put that in your water and feed your plants. That was £4. Sometimes I do wish that I was a gardener, but... I'm not. I, I don't like getting my hands dirty or anything like that. Um, it's just not me. That's why when we moved into this property, I was so glad that it just had a little patio area where I can just keep painting, just keep refreshing every year. So yeah, please stay tuned because I will be doing a little garden makeover for you guys. For £1, Poundland did have some seeds in, so they had some flower seeds and they also had some vegetable seeds. Now I'm not sure when these need to go in and when they need to be potted, but if you're wanting to do your own vegetables, then Poundland do have the seeds in. They did also have a grow your own Christmas dinner, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. That would be a disaster for me because I can't grow vegetables and I can't cook a Christmas dinner. So guys, I am going to leave this video play out and I just want to say I do hope that you've enjoyed this video. This was actually requested to have a look around the garden bit in Poundland. But if you've yet to subscribe, then please consider doing so. It would help my channel to grow. Also, don't forget my three platforms that I do use religiously, which is TikTok, Instagram and Facebook. So please go and add me over there. And until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of the day, whatever it is you're doing. Enjoy the rest of this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.